you can identify an unlimited number of properties, it can't exceed 200% of the property that you relinquished. And then we have the 95% rule where you can identify more than three properties, but you must purchase uh, at least 95% of all the properties that you identify. The most popular out of the three is the very first one because it's the simplest. That means that once you sell your property, you can identify three properties and just purchase one so long as it's greater than or equal to the value here and you move forward all your equity. Properties that you can't or that won't qualify for a 1031 exchange, that is your personal residence. So your personal residence is out. You can't use that for 1031 exchange. You can't trade into stock. can't trade into developed lots. can't trade into foreign property. The second thing is you need to determine your profit that you're going to have to move forward into your exchange. And how are you going to calculate your